Oh my god! Look at her. She's so powerful. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching the Wrong Way to Use the Healing Magic episode 8. In the previous episode we've seen all of our heroes and Usado getting ready for the war. The king has announced it all to his people. The soldiers are ready for the battle. And hopefully in this episode we are going to witness the enemy's falls. Let's hope that our heroes and Usato are ready for what's coming. Because according to Usato's vision, the Dark Knight was going to decimate the whole army and kill our heroes until Usato does something. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more reactions. And if you'd like to watch reaction to this episode in full opacity uncut and early release, the link to that is in my Patreon down below. Alternatively, you can join my channel as a member and have access to videos before they are released on YouTube, as well as shout outs, priority and replying to messages, access to polls and private posts, and many more. So don't hesitate and join me. And now without further ado, let's get on with this episode. She doesn't want to be far from home after all. This is her first battle experience. And she's really young. Demons are physically stronger and have more mana. Ooh, that's not good. That's not really good at all. <sighs> you watch your word. So harsh. Right? Oh, he's being all gooey with her. Oh, be careful. <laughs> She's a ferocious beast, but wait. She hasn't reacted the usual way. What was she thinking? All right. Battalion Commander Rose. Oh, five years earlier, so I was right, we're gonna learn about her past. Only five years later. Earlier, I mean. That is a problem. So, the demons must have invaded really not long ago, because like five years ago. She looks like so much younger. <laughs> she was being herself all the time. How could she hit her like that? Superhuman strength and a body of armor. That's so harsh. Rose, Rose, Rose. <laughs> but the thing is, it's very easy to cross roads. Oh my god, she doesn't want her to be because this is probably too harsh. <laughs> Can't imagine how terrible the training might be under Rose's command. We saw it already. How harsh she was of Usado. <laughs> Why did blaming her? She didn't do anything. It's because the demons are invading. Probably. Oh my god, it could not help. Hate her. Wait, why are they attacking monsters? Shouldn't they be attacking humans? Strange. Quick action? 10 to 30, but they are demons, so they are strong. There's not enough of them, and does any of them have magical powers? Why are they so harsh and rude to her? Like, 
So she, what sort of deputy commander is she? Like, they have no respect for her. Unless they are all friends, like in fairy tales, you know what I mean? Oh. Well, that have totally changed them. And you'd think they'll be terrified, right? But for some reason they're really happy that she's joining them. <laughs> These guys are so weird. Oh, that's why. But they are not invisible. Sorry, they are not invincible. So perhaps that's why they all died. Because I assume they all died. Because they look like those people that she keep reminiscing all the time. Oh, I have a really, really bad feeling about it. Interesting, she's got quite of intuition, doesn't she? And then she has a magical power. Oh, so they do listen to her. Well, that's good. I you see, I thought they're gonna go against her. Oh yeah, she would just knock her out, right? <laughs> Kawaii! <laughs> mm, what is she troubled about? She's average. I mean, we haven't seen her in action, so I have no idea what her powers or skills are. That's not all she's doing. She came up with a strategy for them. There were no complaints on her, that's good. So, And they guys, they actually listen to her. So she wants her to become the actual battalion commander. Wow, for Rose to want that for someone, that's amazing. Interesting. Is that why Rose likes her so much? <laughs> Kinda like Rose, a little bit. <laughs> That's not a good subordinate, um, if you think about it. But I guess it's the perfect one for Rose <laughs> and the char character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's like a monster from your nightmares. <laughs> oh my god, that's ruthless. <laughs> so that's why Usato reminds Rose of her. Oh. She's so nice to Rose. Look at her shiny eyes. It's a shame that she didn't get to. I like her pose on the floor. <laughs> And they do, they do listen to her. <laughs> She's doing her own pop she likes to hear the praise. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But she was right, nothing ever stays the same. And it was a real tragedy for her. Oh no, they were all eavesdropping. That's so embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they were such a good friends, right? 
So that's from the demons. But why are demons hunting monsters? Is it because they want to capture those monsters so they can do some sort of experiments on those monsters, just like they did with that venomous snake that we saw a few episodes ago? It would make sense, because otherwise why would they be capturing or... Well, are they capturing or defeating? They are defeating monsters. Hmm. I don't know. I'm curious. They are capturing monsters! Damn. I think my theory might be right. Hmm. Not good at all. Oh no! <laughs> they are so powerful. What is Rose gonna do? Fight this guy on her own? They go angry, so that's not the case. So I think they are using them, monsters, to turn them into something very powerful. Benefits it will bring later, yeah, that's, that's got to be it. You won't. And this he is like not acting all high and mighty, he actually knows that she's powerful. <laughs> Guys, if she has handed over commandment to her, and we've learned later on that she died, and everyone died, then... I think I know what has happened. Mm. A wind user. <gasps> oh my god! Look at her. I've never seen her actually fighting, you know? She's so powerful. She can just lift a tree like this and just... I mean, we've seen it before, but like... How fast and mighty is she? And the pose she did when she was throwing that tree was so cute. <gasps> How is she doing that mid-air? That is my question. That's a perfecto landing go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this guy is super tough. Oh, you're quite sure about your skills, bros. But can she really defeat him? I mean, look at this. <laughs> The ultimate warrior, the self-healing tank. <laughs> like a paladin, sort of a thing. You call her a monster? And just what are you, excuse me? But he has acknowledged her if he asks her for name. <laughs> I'm just Rose and I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> oh no, he has his own weapon. <laughs> and bear in mind, Rose never used any weapons, she just uses her own fists all the time. <sighs> just how is it going to go? Wow. Amazing episode, guys. Honestly, just how powerful Rose is. She literally is using just her fist to fight. And it was nice to see her pass, but we didn't see how it all ended. And again, she left that little girl, I think it was her name, Arn 
or Aoi left her in charge against like however many more demons and as we know demons are stronger than humans and she said that to Usato before that you cannot bring the dead back and these guys were obviously said that they're gonna go all out because they trust in commander that commander is gonna save them and heal them even they were on the brink of death but if she was gone for too long because she got knocked out or something else has happened I don't know it's so scary what if she didn't have enough powers to heal them because you know she used all the powers to find that demon Honestly, I don't want to wait. We've got like what four days till next episode. I don't want to wait. I want to know now. It's just like so scary what's gonna happen. And obviously the war is coming. So much, so much going on. So much happening. I think the next episode is gonna be like a proper, proper episode. Not a filler anymore. Not stolen us. We're actually gonna see what's gonna happen. There'll be lots of action, blood, and you can see that coming. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the movie. Massive thank you to my Patreon Isaac for supporting the channel as well as other Patreons and members of my YouTube channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and for those of you who doesn't know you can watch this anime uncut full length and 100% opacity it's linked in my description below or if you want to become my channel member and get access to amazing perks the link is also down below as always thank you very much for support for my channel as i'm really hoping to reach the monetization this month hope to see you again have an amazing day and see you again bye <laughs>